Hi, my name's Dr. James. I'm going to go over the do's and don'ts and what to do post dermal failure treatment. It's actually been published in the Complication Reversal. Always lie on your back, which contributes to the risk of bruising and bleeding. It's, done. it's important to avoid hot teas and coffees. Swelling is expected. Ultimately, the main point to take to avoid any complication. Hi, my name is Dr. James from Triquan Aesthetics and in this video we're going to go over the do's and don'ts and what to do post dermal filler treatment. So after you've had your dermal filler treatment with us, there's a series of crucial do's and don'ts and these are there to ensure that you get the best results possible and to reduce any possible complications. Now we do of course go through these with you in the consultation and immediately after your treatment. But this video is here to just give you a bit of information before coming to see us. So. Our fantastic doctors, Dr. Sanjay and Dr. Zoya, have actually been published in the Complication Reversal and um, Management. And we've used their expertise and our expertise to create our aftercare management plan. So in the immediate two week period following your treatment, there's a certain number of things that we should and shouldn't be doing. So immediately after the treatment, um, the main thing we want to try and reduce is the risk of infection. There's things that we do in clinic to minimize it, but once you leave, there's a few key things that you can definitely be doing. So we want you to avoid touching your face and using any makeup. And for the rest of the day, ideally try and just wash your face with simple soap and water. Avoid any further lotions and potions, and then from the next day, you can continue with your normal skincare regime. So within the first day, we want to ensure that you're avoiding exercise and avoiding alcohol. This is to reduce the risk of bleeding and bruising. The reason why it's important to avoid exercise and alcohol within the first day is because both of those thin the blood and also cause vasodilation, which contributes to the risk of bruising and bleeding. Within the first three days, it's important to avoid environments of excessive and extreme temperatures. These can include saunas, steam rooms, hot baths, and if you've had your lips done, it's important to avoid hot teas and coffees. The reason for this is because it improves integration and also reduces swelling. Um, and in fact, also within the first two to three days, try and sleep on your back. Um, this is to also avoid any asymmetry and pressure on the areas and ultimately lead to getting the best outcome. So within the first two weeks, swelling is expected um, and it's really important, as we said before, to not touch the area and you may well feel little lumps and bumps. These are to be expected and are normal and if you aim to try and massage them yourself, it increases the risk of complications. An area that people tend to um, find lumps a bit more frequently is in the lips and that's probably because they, when you run your tongue over your lips, you can feel it a bit more, it's a bit more sensitive. It's important to realize that these are normal and to be expected and not to panic, they will resolve. And this is also why we have our consultation and follow-up in two weeks. Ultimately, the main point to take to avoid any complications and to ensure the product integrates evenly is to not massage the filler yourself at all. Um, we will do this for you at the treatment time and also potentially at two weeks. It can take a bit of time for the filler to integrate and it's important to realize that lumps and bumps are to be expected while that process happens. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative. And of course, we hope to see you in clinic where we will go over things much more detail in your bespoke treatment. Um, if you have any further questions, feel free to get in contact with us and the team. And if you have any further ideas or videos that you think may be useful for you, also feel free to send those our way. What did I say? Lie on your back. Lie. <laughs> Always lying back. So, so guys, that's it. <laughs>